What's up everyone, Cheese here. So, uh, today what I want to do is I'm going to open up Crystal Caves, one of my favorite ones that I've made so far. And uh, the other day I was in, I don't, I don't remember who it was, but somebody had made a uh, another map and they had done trees in a way that really reminded me of clouds and I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. And uh, I've been wanting to put some stuff inside my Crystal Caves map, another new addition or whatever. I have some hills that I've, I've built some automation things. I'll make a video on doing that. So I'm going to add some rolling hills where it's like you can, with forest on it. I have a smaller one that's already built on there already. Um, that was kind of a, the first initial tests of things. And I'm like, yeah, if I'm going to make a huge sprawling hill, I'm going to need to automate that. So stay tuned for that. That's coming in a new, in, a, in an upcoming video. But uh, today, what I want to do is I'm going to test out and see if I, I see what it takes in order to build some really fluffy-esque type clouds inside the liftoff editor. And uh, I'm going to put some like really high and make, see if I can't make some like thunder, some like thunder cloud, you know, some, some huge anvil type clouds or whatever that are like way up in the, in the sky. So you got to go way up there and you can like fly through the clouds and be like this giant maze or whatever, be floating up there. And then you have everything down beneath it. It'd be pretty cool, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Thanks for coming along. Um, there's a table of contents because I record this just kind of as I'm going, whatever. I would stream, but my PC sucks, so I can't kind of do all of this all at once. So that's why I just kind of record it on the fly and give you a table of contents. So let's do this, y'all. Okay, so we've got liftoff going here, and let's open up the track builder. Go deal with that. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. We want to do crystal cave. Okay, so the first thing, mm -hmm, yeah, we're running a little rough here. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to have to create, we just do a top down view. I'm going to have to create some kind of pillar that reaches all the way to the sky. So, um, start with I'll do I'll just make it a big one I think that'll make it easier so to make this go easier uh, one of the apps that I have here is called the fastest mouse clicker for Windows and you can see what you can do you can it counts how many there are which is kind of helpful ish um, so you can set the trigger key I have it, uh, trigger key I have it set to my shift key it's pretty helpful um, you can and you can uh, set the rate and then if there's like a cutoff point so It'll do 30 per second. It'll stop at 1500. If I go back um, here, now I can just hold down the shift key and it's, you can see it's flickering like that. That's because it's laying down. It's clicking the mouse button 30 times a second. Um, and it will eventually stop at 1500. Now I'm sure that it's not actually getting all 30 of those every second, you know, because there's only so much it can do. Like, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. That's crazy. So let's see how high we are. Oh yeah, we're way up here. Oh my God, we're way up here. This must be the ceiling. God, it's not the ceiling yet. Well, let's just start from here because we're so high up. You can't even see the ground. You can't even see anything down. There's a little something down there. Um, yeah, so let's start from here. So the way that this person had done their um, clouds was with these, these, uh, the, these bigger round ones. And I assume that they had just like clicked a whole bunch of times and just like, oh, this is out of bounds right here. This is the very top. So, okay. And let's, let's work our way down some. 
Come down here. Fall for a little bit. Okay. We're still so high up you can barely see anything. So, now, if I put this on top of my little pillar, I hit my little shift key because I still have my fastest clicker going. So there's one. If I go... No, yeah. Alright. So this is just, I want to see what this looks like. It was... It was like uh, he had built up this giant thing of clouds, or a thing of, it was like a tree. He'd connected all of his trees with these things and created like, cause you know how in trees there's, like the branch will come out, this branch will come out, but there'll be a hole in the middle where you can go through that gap. And he had done the same type of thing with his trees using these, where. He had like connected all the foliage together but left gaps so that you could like go up and kind of hook through them. It was pretty sweet. Um, didn't, didn't necessarily remind me of trees, but it certainly reminded me of clouds. So I'm thinking like, you know, if I... Gonna turn it into a weird something though. It's kind of fun that I can. Gonna pull this this way, pull it this way, and connect it. This one, not that one, this one. Yonder way. Connect that and make like a little hole. And then like another hole. Up here, a big one. I wanna kinda cut this in half. Okay, so I got this. See, this is kinda fun. I can kinda like shape where the little things are connecting. Always, always dragging things towards me. As long as I kind of maneuver myself in weird ways, it becomes be kind of fun. So let's see if I kind of want to pull this there so that they connect. Kind of connects right there. Sure. Okay, we'll pull this downwards. Come on, come this way. There you go. Oh, did I just connect that? Oh, sweet. Yeah, man. Oh, close. Close! There we go. Let's create another little small gap. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna run like crap like that when you're looking down. <laughs> when you're looking up, it's, like, it's fine when you're looking up. Let's come down here and pull this. Gap. You see, the I think the key here is to like layer these up. So I've got like one layer, and then come through here, and we'll kind of fill in some of the space. Yeah, it's starting to look cool. So that it's not just this single-looking thing. It's like oh, there's some substance to it. It's almost like a beanstalk. Oh, 
almost like a bean stock, that's funny. Gap, tiny gap. Okay. I'm like, where's all the single? Where's all my single ladies? clouds <laughs> too bad they don't have clouds like you're so high up that you go above some cloud level or whatever dope. I'm thinking they used to oh no that's a different game I was thinking of where you could build things not Fortnite gap Turn this up. This is it's on. Make everything a little bit thicker. Add some dimensionality to them. It's like a, it's like a honeycomb up in here. It was kind of fun. Dope. I'm actually really, this is actually really kind of coming out it's fun. These little round things give you the ability to like kind of vector where they're going. It's pretty dope, man. It's pretty fun.
Add some volume and some space. Same thing at a steeper angle over here. Train. All right. So that's this corner. Yes, giving them volume, giving it volume, I guess it's one, I'm gonna have to repeat this like several times, Ooh, we can get inside here, this is gonna be fun, I look forward to flying through this, this is gonna be fun, alright, where are you thin, here, Here, okay. Too linear right there for me, thanks. Same thing right here, it's a little too linear. Kind of 
put some put some ridges on this so it's kind of odd to do. It's really fun underneath. Gap. So you can dive through that. Oh yeah, buddy. And this one whole side is just wide open, huh? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright. That's one. Now I wanna do another one. Over this way. How, what's the fastest, maybe a giant brick? Find some way to make this square. Hmm. I know, we'll just put it there and then we'll just be like zero zero everything out and then I can rotate it give me a square flat side to work against and then I can take this oh, that didn't work that didn't work that didn't work at all <laughs> scrap that idea I guess um I guess I can just this will work Starting here. Pull cloud this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get some arcage. Oh yeah, we can get some arcs going too. That's fun. Okay. That gives me something roughly to work with. Thanks, guys. All right. Now, working off of this, let's pull one this way. And kind of fat this side out. like a almost like a little level playing field you know a little playing ground you can come over here and all right on this one I want to pull it this way Oh, 
Fill that in. Pull that down. Y'all. Provide some substance. Fill in some of the bottom. Come down here. 
up. Connect up to that thing. So. Oh my poor right hand is starting to cramp up. Oh yeah, now we're closer. We're getting closer to the other one, that's what I wanted. I'm like we're too far away. Dimensionality, y'all. Handle it all, y'all. Handle it all, y'all. Pretty dope. This is actually pretty fun. Just a bunch of random clicking, flying around, changing directions, pulling this, pulling that. It's pretty, it's kind of fun. Alright, now let's come over here and take some of the principles I've, I've been establishing over on that other one back onto this guy. Fill in the, fill in some of the gaps, some of the joints, making it fatter. Doing a pretty good job over here. Add some 
filler. It's actually pretty cool. Okay. Come on, floaty mode. Yeah, oh yeah, we're up here at the out of bounds. Okay, sweet. That's what I want. I'll do like pop up and do like power loop up here. Oh, <laughs> we're like outside of bounds. That'd be dope. Follow me. Yes, follow me down to this one.
you can tell this is going to be a uh, one of those things where it's like I just keep coming back, I just keep coming back, and just keep adding more and more to the clouds way up in the sky. <laughs> but I want to fly this now. I think it's I think it's time to come down here and fill this out with a little more dimensionality. And um, it's time to get rid of the supports here. Whoops. Oh well. Goodbye. You too. Goodbye. And there we go. There we have it. We have some some clouds way up. It's kind of cool. They uh they completely fade out, but they they're fluffy things way off in the distance. That's freaking cool. <laughs> Let's go fly this. So I need to save, I need to share. Yes. Get my transmitter out here. My, my. No, there we go. Holy crap, it is a big map. 28, 28 and a half megabytes, it's a big map. Fly, yeah, 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 I know. Cause I'm recording. It'd be 10 times worse if I was trying to stream too. That's right, everybody. I usually do my uh, all my tests and everything. I usually make them live. So this was Crystal Caves. It's live. See him. You can just see him way up there. Oh, oh. Oh yeah. I'm I'm recording my screen, so my uh, transmitter smart prop plus thing doesn't doesn't like to doesn't like to work while I'm recording. It sucks. This is kind of fun. Oh man, I'm about to put a ton of these up here. <laughs> this is legit! Oh, this is fun. It, it is like flying through a cloud, I guess. It does kind of feel like that. Big fluffy thing, you know, if it was like, if a cloud was like a solid thing. It, it is kind of disorienting, though. Dab the cloud! Oh, yeah, see, look at this. It's like a. It's like a little place to hang out. Oh, you can get your procs on here. Oh, 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 oh! Falling from the clouds. Yeah, that's way up there. You got. Floating islands first, and then the ground. <laughs> the port. I love it. All right, man. So they are there, way up in the sky. 
they're on Chris they're on Crystal Cave so uh, I'll leave a link to this map down in the description and uh, that will uh, that'll get you so you can fly this one if you want if you this is obviously the game lift off if you don't have lift off yeah, you should get it tons of fun Oh, 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 get off the cloud. All right, all right, y'all. I'm Cheese FPV. Thanks for watching. See you in liftoff.